if you're looking for a quick and healthy snack, the best um, thing that I found lately is kale. Um, never had kale before, but I learned how to make kale chips, and it's incredibly easy. Just going to buy um, a bundle of kale and wash it and dry it. As you can see, it's pretty wet here, but I'm going to go ahead and rip it away from the stem. That part is too um, tough to eat. You just want to rip off the leaves. And first what I do is I rip off um, all the leaves and then I'll rip them into smaller bite-sized pieces and it also makes them crispier the smaller they are. As you can see it comes off pretty easily. And get rid of those stems and dry it off as best you can. And this is one bundle. Um, it doesn't look that small. It doesn't look like much, I'm sorry, until you unbundle it and wash it all. And it actually ended up making two trays of kale. But it shrinks up, so it, do it won't look like much when it gets done. So here you get a large bowl and just break it into smaller little bite-sized pieces. If you find more stems, you can separate those out. Some people do this part directly on the baking pan, the baking sheet, but I don't like to do that. I like to try to coat everything. And this is the biggest bowl I have and it barely all fits in there. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of olive oil, only about like a tablespoon or so. You don't want to get too much on it because then they won't get crispy. We just want a little tiny coating, that way it doesn't burn, helps cook it. And I grabbed the wrong olive oil bottle, so I have to go get my used one. I didn't measure this out, I normally don't, I just kind of eyeball it. But be careful not to use, the first time I made them I used too much and they weren't very crispy. And then you could choose whatever toppings you want. I like salt, pepper, and garlic on mine. So. I kind of do this twice. I'll go ahead and put some pepper on now. And I like using the coarse salt, the thick pieces of salt. But you could use table salt, whatever you want. And I'm going to add garlic powder this time. You can use any kind of flavors you like. Last time I used um, chipotle um, seasoning to make them a little spicy. I love garlic, so I added a ton of this. And then I have some tongs, I just kind of toss it. Make sure it gets coated. Then you're going to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And let that heat up, and while that's um, happening, you can get um, the biggest uh, pan you have, biggest cookie sheet you have, and line it with some foil. And I go ahead and spray some of the nonstick spray down too. And go ahead and dump your kale on there. And you're going to kind of want to make sure each piece is on the foil so it's not setting on top of each other because then it won't really get crispy. This is basically the same as the um, baked broccoli recipe that I, the video that I made for that, which if you haven't checked that out, it's the best broccoli ever. <laughs> and it's super easy to make. I've lately been baking and roasting vegetables and it's really delicious. So I put about half of what I made on here and then just to make sure it's seasoned I go ahead and add the salt and garlic again I like a lot of garlic so I put a ton on there alright and then you're gonna go bake it about um, 10 to 15 minutes you want it so that the tips of the kale have browned but they aren't burnt there's an example right there 
and at this point it's pretty crunchy and you could put it in a little bit longer than what it has been here um, this is a mix of like some are soft and some are crunchy but if you put it in a few more minutes then basically everything will be crunchy and it's good that way um, as well just don't burn it